Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here, and today we are doing lesson 10.6 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. If you're in my class, we're going to be filling out page 405 in your big math books as we go along with this lesson. So lesson 10.6 is sort of a continuation from 10.5 where we learned about lines of symmetry. So our job today is to tell whether these shapes have symmetry if they have um, zero lines of symmetry, one line of symmetry, or more than one line of symmetry. So we're going to write underneath these pictures how many lines of symmetry it has. So this one, if I were to fold it straight down here down the middle, the left and the right would be the same, but I could also fold it straight across here and it would be the same. And I could also fold it across like this or across like this. So this says that it, this should say that it has more than one line of symmetry. Okay, this diamond, sort of the same thing. You can go straight down the middle, straight across over here, or you can do the diagonal points. So more than one. This butterfly, it only has one line of symmetry. Don't get confused. It can go this way. It cannot go across this way because these wings on top, if you were to fold them down, are bigger than the wings on the bottom. So this only has one line of symmetry. And the seahorse doesn't have any lines of symmetry. If I were to cut it here, the top is bottom than the top is different than the bottom. If I were to cut it straight down the middle, we've got a head over here, but no head over here. So zero lines of symmetry for that seahorse. Okay, same directions for six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have more than one way that we can cut this, because we can cut it like this, or this, or this, more than one. The leaf, it has zero lines of symmetry. A lot of people want to cut it straight down the middle like that, but look, you've got this extra part that hangs over. This is a different shape than this, so it has zero lines of symmetry. The sand dollar only has one line of symmetry. It can go straight up like that. You can't do it like this because, look at these things are in the different places. They wouldn't line up. So it has one line of symmetry. And this has only one line of symmetry as well, straight down here. So 10.6 is just basically practicing what we learned in 10.5. They're going to give you shapes, and you have to say if it has more than one, one, or zero lines of symmetry. If you have any questions, just feel free to leave me a message. Thanks.